Hi, my name is Ratana Lin. I will talk about the demographic and climate of China. China is the most populous country in the world. It has approximately 1.3 million total population. 51% is male and 49% is female. The total population in Beijing is 19.5 million, which is 44% increase over the last decade. In Beijing, the climate is hot and dry in summer and freezing cold in winter. Spring is from March to May. The temperature is between 45 to 67 Fahrenheit. Summer is from June to August. The temperature is between 70 to 87 Fahrenheit. Fall is between September to November. The temperature is between 45 to 66 Fahrenheit. Winter is from December to February. The temperature is between 15 to 34 Fahrenheit. It is cold and dry with occasionally snow. My name is Whitney Storch and I am going to discuss China's economy, the workplace five-year forecast, and Chinese culture. In China, the economy tripled in size from the year 2004 to 2012. China has a post-industrial economy with an economic growth rate of 10% in the last 30 years. This growth rate made China have the fastest growing economy in the world. China is known as a communist nation with a socialist market economy. The workplace five-year forecast projects that China is headed in the orange world workplace setup. The orange world workplace is defined as a large companies outsourcing services from different companies instead of monopolizing smaller workplaces out of business. China has been claimed as the leader of utilizing the benefits of the orange world strategy while the rest of the world has been following this setup by their example. Hi, my name is Francis Manley and I will be talking about Beijing's transportation as well as the workplace trends and social norms in the workplace of China. In terms of transportation, the city's 18 subway lines, which cover approximately 327 miles, are the most time-effective means of travel. Beijing also has the world's busiest bus system, with over 20,000 city buses and more than 700 routes. There are around 40,000 public bicycles that are available to rent. Many people also own their own bikes to commute to work, and many roads in Beijing have bike lanes. Workplace design in China is gradually catching up with the West. Workers in Beijing spend nearly 50 hours a week in the office. Companies are starting to spend more money on making their offices more comfortable. In many ways, China has a very formal, traditional, and polite culture. Therefore, there are many rules that govern appearance and behavior in the workplace. Both men and women are expected to dress conservatively in subtle neutral colors. Timeliness is very important and personal contact should be avoided. Hello, my name is Harmony Connell, and today I will be talking about the architecture, the sustainability, and the site that our project will be on in Beijing, China. Beijing has a very distinct vernacular style of architecture. They're highly decorated in every aspect, from coloration to even the joinery on the roofs. These buildings are made from wood and heavy timber, which give the freedom for carvings and detailed paintings. One feature that is used on the vernacular architecture is upturned roofs. This gives not only an interesting visual, but also helps direct rainwater away from the building's foundation. The current architectural style in Beijing is very contemporary and creative. They are mainly steel frame buildings with glass coverings, and they tend to take on unique shapes and push the boundaries of what contemporary architecture is. However, some of these buildings do nod to the vernacular architecture by mimicking shapes within motifs or through more abstract representations. Due to the dense population of people and buildings, as well as the heavy production within the city, Beijing struggles with poor air quality. There is a constant smog in the air that causes health problems. This means that sustainable efforts are extremely important for this place in particular. In fact, Beijing is currently trying to become a green city. In general, the people in China don't see this pollution as an issue, and more of an effort needs to be made to increase understanding. The site in particular that the workplace project will be built in is China Central Place. These buildings are in an area that holds high end shopping centers. It is considered to be one of Beijing's latest tourist attractions and shopping destinations. 
The area includes international apartment buildings, three large office towers, luxury international hotels, including the Ritz-Carlton, and the area is considered to be fine living coupled with commercial and recreational amenities.